Ay, ay, mamacita! Ah! Ah! Space Mickey, Battle Rank episode number 44. I think it's 44. And we're gonna start with this new team, and it's gonna be good times. We're currently at 38 wins and 12 losses. That is not bad at all. We're gonna try to aim for higher wins, and it's gonna be good times, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, I think... Yeah, yeah, I just gotta tell you, I have to tell you guys that, uh, uh Saturday, the August the 2nd will be the day where I'll be giving you all tons of shoutouts to all these subscribers that are gonna subscribe throughout these, like, all these two weeks. And I think I already said it already, but you know what? That's what I do. And you guys see that I brought in the all mono green team. Can you feel it? This is the team that wants to save the earth, and we're gonna press the challenge button right now. Eight likes is the imaginary like, also that this video and the future video will get the exposures that other people can come out like, I like this bit. Then I'm gonna press that sub button and it's gonna be good but good times. We go battle and pretty much my own main purpose here is my main purpose here. Come on, I can't even say purpose. But my main purpose here is to just battle all these kinds of Pokemon and we got these guys bringing the power. Oh, Mr. Poe, Mrs. Poe, oh, Miss Poe, oh, Mr. Poe, I don't even know, Mr. Mr. Poe, they could be a transvestite, I don't even know. Well, let's see. I wonder what his good lead could be. Could be Tyranitar. I don't even know. Like, I, I, it could be right. Maybe Infernate with the fake out. Anything can happen. The possibilities are endless. Maybe Heracross just will just laugh me, laugh at me in my face. So, but I'm gonna bring what looks to be the best lead, Yon Mega. Looking at all this team. That's so. That's gonna definitely be a first thing. It could take care of uh, Tyranitar. It can take care of uh, Heracross. Actually, not Tyranitar because it cannot take it one hit. So, I'm assuming that's gonna be the Mega Force team. I gotta find out what I got to do. But right. Yamea is definitely gonna be first. And to take care of possibly Tyranitar? Hmm, that is a good question. But I'm gonna bring Tyranitar to take care of the Glyph score itself. Because I got nothing for it other than Tyranitar. Because I do pack in the mixed variant of it. So it does have Ice Beam. So that's gonna be good times. And last but not least, I think I'm gonna bring Gallade. I think it has a knockoff to take care of the Latios. Yeah, okay. Sounds smart. I'm pretty smart. I'm pretty smarties. Okay, so that's gonna be my main team. I, I think I'm very comfortable with that too. It's because Veritor cannot withstand anything from Infernape, Chestnut either. So, um, yeah, Mega first, Tyranitar second, and Glade the third. That's gonna be fantastic. I, I like that team. I like that team setup there. So, it's not even bad. So, Miss Poe. It's Miss Poe. Could be Mr. I don't even know because guys apparently like to put in Aftars of girls. Uh, the, only, the only person I can never think of that they can actually do it legitimately, I guess, is Hulum Scrafty because he likes to do all that kind of stuff. But. Enough about him, we're gonna go into see that he got the Tyranitar in the flesh. Now, the problem is... Huh. I don't see any problem going into Gallade here. I don't see any problem with going into Gallade. Or I could just go for Bug Bus and save this Jamega for later. Because Infernape or Heracross will definitely have potential, potential danger here. So I'm gonna save... Yo, Mega, and go straight into Gallade. Not even gonna go for Protect or anything like that. So I'm gonna go switch out because uh, I'm gonna need that Yo, Mega for later. Maybe to just eventually give me the victory. And my main purpose here to switch out is to just try to get some initiative and to just get some uh, advantage here in the situation. It's gonna take less than half, so that's that's good. That's gonna be fantastic. Sandstorm is gonna be kind of an issue. Pop, maybe um, I might see that in the future. So he might bring in the Latias if he wants to. And then take care of my Glade, which could be a could be an issue. So I really want him to predict. Oh, I want to really want to predict them to switch out into Latios now. But if I do, which will be fantastic. But I'm gonna go for Naka predicting them to switch. So let me go for that prediction. So that's gonna switch out. Will I see a Latios? Well, okay, so we're gonna see Inferno, so Drain Punch would've been fantastic here, but unfortunately, that's not gonna happen, though. Not gonna happen. So, at this rate, it doesn't look good. I wish I could've gone for the Drain Punch here, but that's not gonna happen. So, it looks like I might have to sacrifice Tyranitar, since it is the least valuable in my team. And that's what it looks like. Because now, what I want to do... Well, by default, I have to switch into T-Tar now. And now, what I have to do is, uh, hold on to my life with the Glade and the Yon Mega, because apparently those two are the most valuable there. So, let's see, the Fire Blast is coming through! Wow! Not, not bad, not even bad, not even bad, not even bad. Fire, Fire, Fire Blast, and Flame, that's gonna be fantastic, man, not even bad! Oh my goodness, but, uh, let's see. Mog Punch is gonna come through. Don't know if I'd be able to withstand a close combat from this guy, so... 
So that is something. Or I could just predict him to go for it now. I really want to. It's Sash, so we might go for close combat now. I really want to predict him to go into uh, close combat. So this is going to be a total mindfuck if it happens. So we're going to go into Yam Mega here. We're going to go all for the balls of the wall. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm doing all these kind of switches. Oh my goodness, hopefully he goes for the close combat or some fi fighting, that fighting type move. He's going to go for the U-turn. Oh my goodness, oh my damn, I would have been in fantastic position. I w it would have activated my weakness policy. And since I was more physically bulky, that would have been fantastic. But, <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter at this point, but uh, Yamega's gonna be here saying, What's up, man? I ain't got nothing to do. You see, he's got the Melodic going. I really don't mind about that because I do pack in the Gigas, which is something he probably doesn't know about, so I don't even know why he wasted so do it, so that's fantastic. Uh, no reason for me to stall with the Protects here. I can just go straight up for the Giga Drain, so I'm not gonna get some super effective damage! Despite the fact that my Lodic is specially invested, but um, I got that uh, fence of special attackness going, so that's gonna be good times. Come on, get that Giga Drain going. Come on, come on. I ain't got all the time, baby. If you wanna switch into everything, that's fine, because I'm gonna outspeed you later, so there you go. With the speed boost. There you go. It's real. Y'all mega is real. It is real. So, with three Pokemon, Tyranitar, Infernape, and Malotic. Not even bad, not even bad. But Yon Mega seems to take care of all of them pretty well, decently. And uh, he's pretty much in a bad pickle here, because if I get Giga Drain off and then I get to full HP, I can do it again, and I'll be able to get to the Focus Dash range, because I didn't use the Focus Dash yet. But, we're just going to have to see what happens. You got the weakness policy, my lordy, oh my lord, that is just damn powerful. You're going to go for the Ice Beam, that's probably going to kill me, actually, because I do have the Focus Dash. Uh, I don't think it matters unless the sandstorm goes away now this turn. No, no, yes, yes, all right, all right, not even bad. Look at the plays, look at the plays I do, man. I predicted that, I predicted that. Oh my goodness, oh my damn. So, it looks like... Best alternative is just go for a straight up for Giga Train here. There's no reason for me to predict anything else. So, what's your move, Miss Bo? I mean, I like your name, Poe. Poe, not even bad, not even bad. Let's see. Um, yeah, I got, got lucky that the sandstorm went away like that that one turn. So there you go. You're gonna switch out probably into Infernape, but at this rate, it doesn't really matter. Now that kind of tells me that you, that you do, you do have the mob punch in your possession. So that's not, and I'm not gonna allow that. I ain't gonna do it. So let's see, 14 HP. That is fishy if I can survive a mock punch from that range, but I'm not gonna risk it for the biscuit, you know what I'm saying? So, Gallade, actually, Gallade cannot do anything either. Hmm. Well, at this point, at this point, he doesn't have fighting type move, I'm assuming, since he did go for the U turn? I mean, maybe he predicted me. Maybe. So, I wanna just go for. Hmm. I think I need the Jimmyon Mega, but I really don't since at that range of HP. And I don't I don't think I want Tyranitar to die too soon. And that's what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna let Yon Mega stay here to die. I think that is a very terrible move. Now I'm gonna just press it. Air slash. Go for the air slashes. I do odds be the infernape. He does not have any priority moves. He tried to go for the bluff. That's oh my goodness on my dad. You're trying to mudfuck me, but I I stayed in. I went for the air slash. He probably predicted me to switch out and go and then go for the U-turn. That could have been a possibility. Try to get some advantage there, but right now I am in the clear. Either you want to go to T Tar or not. I mean, doesn't really matter because I'm gonna get that Giga Drain off if I wanted to. But at this rate, it looks like it doesn't really matter because even if uh, Glade dies here. I can just go s set up with the bug buzz and then uh, have the lake take care of the rest. That's what it looks like here. Or yeah, I could just go for a drain just to be on the safe side, but it doesn't really matter. Bug buzz is stabbed, so it'll do the most damage. So I don't see me myself surviving Tyranitar's hits with one hit with even with the Giga Drain. So bug buzz, go do it. They're gonna do it with the bug buzz. Go do it with the bug buzz. Bug buzz, come through. That is fantastic, man. Fantastic. Super effect. That's gonna be good times. Stone Edge comes and lands, obviously, because, I mean, I mean, my opponents always land a Fire Blast, always lands like a freaking Blizzard, always lands like a Stone Edge, that's, that's, that's always gonna happen, I just have to accept it. Now, going to Gallade, no other reason why not to, because Gallade is the boss. Let's see, it's gonna clean the job, it's gonna finish the job here, so, instant, instant, continuous, strain punch in the face, and you do outspeed, so that tells me you're scarfed. But I don't think it does enough unless you got a crit there, so Drain Punch come through. Gonna get some of the HP back, so good thing to know that you were scarred there. So that was kind of 
kind of surprised there a little bit, but I don't know. I don't know. That had to be scarfs. Is that you are somehow outsped? I, I think I don't have any speed investment on this thing. I really don't know. Maybe that could have been the reason why. So, I don't know. I don't know. Glade's gonna just kick it in though. He ain't, he ain't playing around though. He ain't playing around. I do pack into the assault vest. I don't know if I can live anything from this melodic, but uh, time will tell. Time will tell. Time will tell. So let's see. Drain punch. It's stab. It's gonna be good times. So uh, maybe I'll be able to knock it out. So I don't pack in investment and speed apparently. So I'm gonna check that again once it faints. So. Glide's gonna faint down if I have packing in any sort of speed investment. We're gonna find out right now if I do. But, um, somehow melodic, melodic outsped there. So let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, 101 speed. That tells me that I invested a lot in HP and attack. So that could have been something that, that would have been me. So, Tyranitar's gonna come through here. And now, there's no reason for me to spam the living heck out of Dark Pulses. Because... With the Sandstorm up, I'll get that special defensive boost, and Dark Pulse is my highest attacking move on this book. So, Hydro Pump is going to come through. If I can live this, then I can activate my weakness policy, and then Tyranitar is going to get that plus two Dark Pulse stab though. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. You just activated your death trap. That's what I'm talking about. You activated my trap card. Yeah, critical hit. Yeah, critical hit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be a victory. Oh, good game, Paul. Not even bad, not even bad, but, um, I guess Glade didn't have as much speed as I thought it was gonna have, but it does have the Evolved Solvest, so I thought that it wouldn't matter, but then Hydro Punk just came in and just ruined my life there a little bit. But not enough for Tyranitar to die, so that's gonna be good times. Now we're currently at 39 wins and 12 losses. Uh, 12 losses? It's 12 losses. Get that flex going. Damn! All right. A likes is the like goal. If you like this video, enjoy the content, then you can press the sub button. I'll give you a shout out on August 2nd, which is, I think, the Saturday of next week or something like that. I don't even know, but it's it's on a Saturday. So when I come back from work, I'll give you all you guys shout outs. It's going to be good times, man. It's good times. So, yeah. eight likes and then for this video to get the exposure and uh, the people to go find it easier. It's going to be good times. So, thank you for the support. You gave me some more. I still like what about the chocolate.